so maybe I, I want to start with the the you know first question that we normally get a lot mm. when we have you know new friend coming to Vietnam mm. new company and I'm pretty sure that a Swedish company coming to Vietnam soon after COVID mm. and mainly we get the question that um, what the Vietnamese normally doing mm. how how are they working mm. what their working style mm. and um, uh, because of the data out there is ways to you know too much and too expensive to mm. get the exact answer. Mm. We normally say, please look at the traffic jam mm. or, or the traffic, the way people mm. attending and joining the tra traffic, mm. especially in rush hour. Mm. Maybe mm. that's explaining what Vietnam is working. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? It's been over about three years in Vietnam. Uh, do you think you will agree with that, or you have you know you know? Um, you want to share some of your 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 you know view on that? Uh, thank you very much for having me. First, <laughs> uh, I know the work that you're doing, uh, which is I think very important uh, in thank you. in Vietnam. And as a Swedish embassy, we work a lot, of course, with our companies, and a lot of them are uh, stepping up now after COVID, and we have a lot of new Swedish companies uh, coming into the country. Uh, and of course, we get a lot of questions about. Uh, Vietnam from the new companies, uh, uh, what are the opportunities, uh, what are some of the challenges when establishing themselves in, in Vietnam and uh, of course we, we also have systems to, to, to respond to those questions in an organized way. It's often Business Sweden who's taking yes. care of these uh, uh, requests. Uh, but uh, I think, uh, in general, in general, we will say that this is a very good good market for a company to to come into, and then of course uh, uh, they need to understand Vietnam. They un need to understand the labor market uh, when they are active here. Um, as for your metaphor, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as I, I'm cycling to work uh, quite often, and uh, I think at first yeah. sight, when you come here uh, three years ago. Uh, when I came here, you think that the traffic is really chaotic. Uh, you don't understand it because it doesn't follow rules and regulations. Yes, uh, I think so. <laughs> uh, but once you get on the bike and you start cycling and you adapt to the flow and you follow, find your way, uh, it actually there is a logic to it. It works. Um, right. So uh, I don't know if that uh, helps you with your metaphor, but uh, I see somehow things are, are working, but not <laughs> according to the rules and regulations that you would expect. Uh. 